Hey guys, me and Marshall are back at it and uh, wanted to give you the update on the uh, fireplace install and uh, it was uh, it was interesting to say the least. Um, the original I ran into uh, I ran into a couple of problems. The original uh, ducting was four inches wide and then the outer uh, duct was uh, eight inches. Well, the new fireplace was uh, four and a half inches by eight and a half or you know something like that. So anyways, I had to order that and that was another thousand dollars. So that wasn't cheap, unfortunately. But this is what we have so far. Um, there it is. Fireplace, I raised it up a few inches. And we got all that installed. And while I was at it, I went ahead and put in a couple of wall wash lights. And what else? Um, I really like this fireplace though. It is super nice. Uh, Marshall's been supervising this whole time. Let's go outside and, and let me show you what I had to do on the outside vent. So I had to cut in a new vent, exterior vent. And uh, of course it didn't fit the same. So I will have to seal that and then uh, replaster it, which is not a big deal. But that's done and uh, everything works great. So on with the rest and I'll give you an update. I'm, I'm going to do a recess in the, uh, um, for the TV mount. Still haven't decided where I want to put it, how high. Um, trying to lower it than from what it was last time and it was it was pretty high but we'll see how that goes all right um, I did not uh, I did not record me doing the Venetian plaster um, it was just very I, I just didn't want to I, I wanted to uh, just continue working through it and try to set up camera all that shit anyways um it turned out really nice i i'm super happy with it Thank you. 
Next phase will be um, flooring cabinets over over on that side. Got a bench seat over on this side. Um, I really like it. It turned out nice. So there it is. And here's the remote. And. Click, it's on. Uh, I will be putting a, a uh, uh, mantle across. Over here, we're gonna have two floating shelves. And so with that material, I think I'm gonna do my mantle. Um, so the bench seat's going across here, two shelves. And then on this side, we're going to have the uh, base cabinets, upper cabinets, and I have a provision for my counter lighting and upper lighting. It'll, it's hooked up to this switch here. And this is my wall wash lights that I put in. And... Let's see if you can see the reflection. The smooth, just, I just really like that. Finish, just really cool. Um, so, on to the next. Not getting the cabinets for another 30 days or so. Um, 33 days, exactly. So, um, lesson learned on, on the Venetian plaster. Uh, there's a lot of lessons that I learned. Um, as you're troweling your second coat, you want to keep the, your, your angle at about a 15. So you're, you're actually applying more, uh, material. Your final coat you're, you're holding your trout at about a 30, 35, eh, probably about a 30. And so you're scraping a lot more off. So what I also learned is on your final coat, you're scraping, putting a lot, a lot less on and it dries a lot faster. So then you're you're to uh, use your trowel at a 45 and and varnish it. Varnish, 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 varnish. I didn't do that. That's why there's there's not as as shiny as I would like, but it turned out great. I love it. Um it's hard. It, it, Venetian plaster is not easy, man. It's it's a lot of work, and uh, it's an it's an art form. But I love it. This is something totally out of the ordinary for us. Very modern, very sleek looking. And my vent on the top, and that blows really, really nice. You could actually really feel it start blowing out here and then up there it blows so uh, we'll catch up when uh, we get some more material here <laughs> 